I'm just leaving AutoZone and I have the window regulator. It was $91 and some change. And the guy asked to carry my car out. Yes, thank you so much. You have a good day. The part was $91. And let me show you guys what it looks like. These are, I guess, like the brackets or something. But the actual part that's messed up is this piece, the wire. how torn up it is so just to get to, I couldn't get the wire by itself even though we have all these extra parts and um, let me show you guys what the motor looks like I never seen a motor before all the way at the bottom so here's the motor piece I'm assuming is this thing And I already paid the guy $75 to come and, well, $20 to come to me and $50 to pull my window up since my window wouldn't go up. So right now we're looking at what? What'd I say? 91 plus 75. So now here's the box that it came in and we have to pay the mechanic to put this part in okay so i opened up this and so this is the part looks pretty nice and new my van is a 2014 so this is silver the other one was black And here we go. And here's the little wire, nice and clean. That's the part. And then there's something in this box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, Y'all like this lady crazy. Okay, so this, it looks like this might have actually came with the motor too. So that, I guess, isn't such a bad I, bad price if this has the motor included. Like, that wasn't bad at all. I thought it was just that part. Open this. Yep, so it has the motor as well. So that, that was a pretty good price then. And for my mind, I have a 20, the 2014 um, Grand Caravan S. XT it's a six pin so you have to know um, if yours is a six pin or a two pin there we go so we'll see how much the mechanic is going to charge for me to put this on A little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that <laughs> So, I'm just waiting on this traffic to clear and I'm going to go across the street to Dollar Tree. We did a few items. Um, they used to sell my husband's favorite um, body wash, which was Lever 2000, for a dollar. That was so awesome. We got that body wash for years and now Dollar Tree doesn't sell it anymore. So, I've been getting him the Arm & Hammer now. So, we need body wash and I, they have Angel Soft Tissue for a dollar, believe it or not. If you get the same at Walmart, it's like $5. So we're going to get some toilet tissue. And they also have this toothpaste that I like. It's a Crest. Now that was a weird noise. Um, whiting uh, toothpaste for a dollar. It's a smaller tube, but it's a really good toothpaste. I usually like to make my own, but sometimes I have to use regular toothpaste. And my husband, he, of course, uses toothpaste. He's not with all the natural stuff. Um, I just spent an, another hundred more dollars on groceries because we have a few extra people blessings in town. My oldest son is in town, Chris. 
my niece and nephew were there so that's four extra people i spent a hundred and now i have i had to spend another hundred i could have spent way more than that but i was like look i'm limiting myself because that is too much we all gonna have to be on a diet so my point of that is every time i go on dollar tree i get extra stuff even though it's a dollar i end up spending 20 30 40 dollars so we're going to try to keep it at a minimum and get what we need get in and get out remember we're going to dollar tree to save a dollar so i have already failed came straight over here i saw this shirt um the last time i was here but it was it's a kitty shirt but i liked it so i was like i want it so i'm gonna look and see if they have um a bigger shirt for me also i'm gonna get moses some socks dollar socks for three pairs when you need them in an emergency dollar tree got them can't get one kid and not get the other See, this is the shirt I want. It says Nature Lover for Lisa Simpson. This is a size <laughs> four in kids. <laughs> the largest I see is a size eight in kids. So I'm gonna try it on to see if I can fit it. Size eight and kids. It's a little tight, but it's cute. And if I had a bra on, so I'm trying to debate. If it didn't shrink, I probably could get this shirt. But it says Nature Love Lisa Simpson kids size eight. I need to probably at least a ten, <laughs> or maybe a twelve and kids. So, looks like I won't be getting this, but I wasn't supposed to be spending anyway. I like uh, t-shirts with graphics on them. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they have. Okay, so I don't know if there is a shortage going on or what, but the last three times that I've been to Dollar Tree, there was no tissue. So they do have a Sharma one row, which they say equals four, but I usually get the Angel Soft. So what I think Dollar Tree does is they um, want you to try out a product and then you get addicted to that product and then they discontinue it. So you have to go somewhere else and pay regular price for it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and we're gonna see how much it is. Like I said, we tried to get the minimums and what we needed to get in and get out. Okay, so we have a thing of bleach, two of these just detergent pods, and there's 10 in each, that's 20. We have the Ajax salt and citrus dishwashing liquid. We have Fabuloso, which is two. We have this um, original, um, it looks like orange and also lime. I mean lemon scent. Because you know I like I love citrus. So for him, we're gonna try out this zest simply two in one. Intensely fresh is the uh, product. And we also have the Ultra Max Fresh Scent uh body wash shampoo and conditioner all in one. It is arm and hammer. We're gonna try out these scrub buddies. A 20 pack it's wet sweeper cloths refills um on their lemon scent i usually use the name brand that comes with the name brand sweeper so we will see how this off label works for us we have the toothpaste that i was telling you guys about crest 3d white stain eraser it's mint splash i have two of those drop the other one we have jane uh, 15 dryer sheets. I have two of those as well. Got Mercy some socks, a two pack since her feet are bigger, and Moses a three pack. And me a body wash essentials. Um, it's called Jennifer 
Juniper Berry. It's a exfoliating body wash. I love the smell of that. And last but not least, some Twix, a six fun size. And we know who that's for. This is for the ride home. Okay, so we have our 17 items and we're ready to check out. They just wanted to let you know this aisle is closed and there's multiple signs saying this aisle is closed. She's going in there anyway. And there's another sign that says the aisle is closed. I like these body armors, but we're on a budget, so I do have to pass those by. Okay, so I devoured one of these Twix before I even left out the store. <laughs> This is a treat. So, we got 17 items for $23 and no, $22 and 84 cents. Pretty good. I went to spend 20. Didn't get toilet paper. Been 22. My husband also helped me to embrace this. Um, like are you spending money, but at least you have the money to spend because some people they have issues or problems, things breaking down or need items and they can't get them because they don't have the money. So it's better to have an issue and a problem and have the money and have to spend it even though you don't want to spend it then then not having any money at all so i am grateful and i bless god for all my blessings all for everything i cannot complain god looks out for me you guys look out for me like i can't complain so we're gonna get it fixed and we're gonna be grateful that we can Okay, guys, so I, my journey is still the same way. You can come still the same way it has been since I got back from Indiana. So today will be cleaning day. Well, it's, I cleaned it out. Let's just say we're going to rearrange journey. I still haven't had time to do that yet. So today will be the day. It is supposed to be how many degrees? Mercy, 89? 89 degrees today? Uh, 86, actually. 86 today and thunderstorms the breeze feels pretty good right now it is humid but it feels pretty good so i'm going to try to get that done and hopefully it just stays cloudy and it doesn't rain because this temperature feels good right now so here's journey with nothing in her in him i should say so we got to put the lights back up they're hanging down and get some things in here and organize my food and different items so we'll be back and i got two new packages well i got two packages from one of our journey buddies so let's see what we got Oh my gosh, thank you. This is what I put in my Amazon wish list because I'm going to do the front of Journey, like the seats. I want um, these seat covers for the front, and I don't, Journey doesn't have any mats. So I want to put some mats up there. I just have the plastic still there from when I bought it, when I purchased it. So I'm going to um, put some mats up there, cover the seats, and I got this wind chime. And I think I also like want a couple of sunflowers because the um the seats are like sunflowers and wind chime. The seat covers, I should say. So I got this wind. I keep saying wind chime and it's a dream catcher. So I have this dream catcher and the um seat cushions has sunflowers and dream dream catcher in it. So uh, I can't wait to get the front of journey done. Um, it's kind of tangled, so we're untangling it. 
and everybody wants to start coming in and working in the neighborhood as I'm doing a video, like always. Every time it never fails. So isn't this beautiful? I wanted to hang it up on my mirror, but I think this will be a little too distracting. So we're going to find somewhere to put it in the front. If not, it can go in the back because it matches my decor. But this is beautiful. It's pretty. They had all different colors. Like they had the standard with the uh, brown and oranges or whatever. But if you see the seat covers that I picked, they have these colors in there. So that's why I got it. But I will post, post the link to this dream catcher. Let's see. Enjoy your gift from Monique. Thank you so much, Monique. I greatly appreciate it. It is beautiful. Look at it. It's so beautiful. And this is me, y'all. All colors. It's beautiful. Let's see what else we have. Woo. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Try to open this without using my teeth because you know I will use my teeth in a minute. Okay. These are face masks. I did put this in my um in my uh, wish list as well. And so it has the face mask and a silky on one side, and this side is like furry. And it comes with the little bag to put it in. And also has earplugs. So I did this because sometimes I don't have a covering for the front window. But sometimes a little light will come in. So I ordered this. And these were actually pretty reasonable. In price, it's four of them. Pretty reasonable. So I, I placed the four and the two earplugs in my Amazon wish list. Um, best because one, just getting one was about the same price as the four. But these are so pretty. They're cute and colorful, ain't they, y'all? Uh, and they so soft. So soft. Earplugs, I won't be hearing what's going on. But I kind of am worried about that sometimes because I do want to hear what's going on. But I also don't want it to distract me from being able to go to sleep. But look. Look at this. Colorful. Colorful. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one says, hey, Shell, I just started watching your channel. You are very encouraging. Enjoy your gifts. God bless you, girl. This is from Monique also. Thank you so much, Monique. These are both very beautiful, very beautiful and very colorful. I'm going to definitely enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I also would like to say thank you so much, Ben. I really appreciate it. I've been seeing that you've been sending me, I guess, it's called super thanks on a few of my videos i greatly appreciate that monetary donation that you gave me thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i had two people recommend these uh storage bins with lids so i want to see how well these do i had asked for recommendations on um how to store my food so and i'll share the link with these as well how it looks once you uh, get it together <laughs> if I can there we go so that's it and it can open up from the side as well so you can get items from the top or the side if you need to and it does have a lid So here's what the lid looks like. So that's the storage container. And then it has some, I'm assuming, little feet. But here's the instructions. I didn't read them, so. But this is what I plan to store my food in. And I like this because this container I can carry. Because I like to cook outside. So the bags that I have been using are, you know, sauce and cloth. And they won't rip. But a lot can fit in those bags. It's just soft. And then like the food, you know, moves all around in the bag. And so hopefully these will work out a little better for me. The only difference is that 
um the bags you can compact them or stuff put them on top of each other i know these are stackable but it's the size that it is and it's going to stay that size so we're going to we're going to use these and see how they work so yeah it's like little wheels and it says that it can bear 88 pounds so you can place things on here that's on top of here that's up to 88 pounds so here they are stacked on top of each other fit perfectly But here's some, um, my mom actually had gave me this tuna. It's a vegan tuna. And I never tried vegan tuna before. It's um, tuna, lemon pepper flavor, and then um, a Hawaiian bowl. It has pineapple and brown, ri brown rice, and it's a plant-based protein in here as well. I hope you guys can hear me because it is hot and I have this fan going. And I have these four storage bins that I got in to um, store like my personal hygiene items and cleaning products in. So I'm going to put these in here. And I also got a, um, a bag for electronics. Uh, like it holds my the cords and stuff because I have so many cords. It's like power stations and phones and charger you know everything i got is mostly rechargeable usb so i have different cord um a bag with them to keep them organized i have fans and power stations and chargers and solar panels so all of that can be and then it also gives you a spot right here like you can put a tablet or ipad or something in and then there's a zip up part to put other items in I don't even know what this cord goes to something but I needed that because I had them all tossed in a basket and they were like tangled and like when I'm driving I may want to reach and get a cord and they were like just I pulling and pulling them so I didn't want to have to pay for it but I feel like this would be good for organization so I went on ahead and purchased this bag so I think this item would be good so I will link these also um, I want to see how these work out. I wanted something a little wider. Let me show you my shelf. And they're not as wide as what I wanted, so I may return them. It's it's like a few inches off. I wanted to find a basket that would, uh, you know, like cover the whole area, so you know they would slide less. So I like I said, I may return them. Um, I know they have cloth baskets and everything, but they don't. I wanted something more durable. I have this basket in here now, but I needed something a little more durable. So more than likely, I will probably send these back just because they're not as wide as what I wanted. But the good thing about them is they do have lids. They have a lid. So that, that would help. Well, I may um, just go to five below and see if they have a basket. I don't know if they have any wooden lids like this. I wanted, I wanted to read it. But I don't know. I did measure it and I thought this would be wide enough, but I feel like it should be as close to the um the width as possible. And I tried not to cram my pack journey out. I wanted to be able to have space, but it's like having the space has been coming more of an inconvenience to me. Because I have a lot of my stuff under the stow and go in the front and the stow and the go in the back. The stow and go in the back is cool. The front, it's kind of hard to get to them. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put my two seats back in the front so that I can have, you know, passengers. And don't use that as the stow and go area and just use the back if I need it. And I'm just going to have a little more items in journey. I love the fact that I had, you know, open space. But it's starting to become a little inconvenient. So... I'm going to go ahead and leave that shelf in here and put the other shelf that I had, the kids um, play shelf 
and put my clothes on there I, I had 14 outfits on there so I'm gonna do that and then I could fit shoes on there so it, it really is was worth having here's the deal the total so far for the door or I should say for the window has been two hundred and eighty six dollars for the man to pull the wind lift the window up and um to keep it to he took the um window regulator out it was i had to pay him 75 dollars um the mechanic the part was 91 dollars and then i had to pay the mechanic 120 dollars so that equals up to 286 he tried to figure out why the door wasn't locking, which I don't know why it's not, it's not locking because it was doing that before the man took all the parts out in Indiana. So now it's not locking at all. So he said, I need a, no a new door lock. And when I look up the door locks, it's like a door lock and it has another word behind it. I can't, I think it starts with an A. So I don't know if like that's the whole door lock system and that's like $200 they have like just the actual panel lock the panel button and that doesn't cost a lot but my panel is working fine and then there's like something else that has to do with the lock but i think he's actually talking about the actual door lock i need and that like i said was 200 dollars. so i don't know i need to clarify and see uh what part it really is because that is like a little pricey for my door like really i'm gonna come up spending 500 dollars just to roll my window up and lock my door and these are things that you have to deal with like i i understand like if i was a full-time van lifer you know what i mean where you know this is my home so i don't have to worry about paying mortgage and other bills but i have a home so I still have regular bills and then to have to be able to pay this on top of it is like really crazy. Like I just don't understand. And like he literally tried to figure out, you know, and do all the connectors and everything on the door for a long time. And I just got to break down and get a lock. But it's cool because either way it go, it's going to get done because I can't travel um and sleep overnight or anything without my door being locked that's like more important than the window if i would have known that i probably would have got the lock fixed in the window later because the window is staying will stand up with a piece of wood so i could have got that and just not roll my window down but you know i didn't know that at the time so i went on ahead and got the window done and now i need a lock but um i just wanted to keep you guys updated and i wanted to say thank you so much for following me today um, and y'all have a good day. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.